This is Alex Malone. Let's go. What's up, world? This is Alex Malone, and I'm here with a very special guest. We got three-time Tejano Music Award winner, Ricky Valens. Ricky, what's good, man? What's good, man? How we doing? How we doing? Yo, I'm excited to have you out here, bro. So, I mean, listen, I mean, I mean, for those men who don't know I me, mean, tell me, tell us your story. Like, what, you know, in a, you know, much as you can, you know, tell us your story. Ooh, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> um, shoot, man. I mean, ever since I was a little guy, you know, I've always was. I had this dream of being an entertainer, singer, um, you know, looked up to, you know, the Mark Anthony's of the world, to, the Stevie Wonders, Marvin Gaye, the Voice of Men, Joe Decees. I grew up R&B with the, with the R&B influence, uh, but I had a, 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 a wide range of cultural background. Like, I was, I'm, I'm Mexican-American, um, but I was raised by a Puerto Rican mom in a, in a predominantly all-black neighborhood. So I had, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, culture mixing going around. So that also plays a role in my music. So from salsa to rap, R&B, hip hop, to country music, to Tejano music, to whatever you can think of, man. That's, that's, it's all intertwined in my music and uh, stuff I'm gonna be doing here in the new future. Um, so, I mean, it's from, from moving to Texas five years ago, uh, you know, doing strictly uh, Latin music, um, Tejano music. So it's been a it's been a long road, but accomplished a lot. So that's what's up. So I mean, like, at what point in time in your life did you know that you wanted to do music as like as a career? Like, what was that defining moment for you? I, I, I mean, as a kid, man, I, I went to school. Uh, my parents tell the story. My family tells the story. But I mean, my first year of kindergarten, I went to school in the in, in the all white Elvis outfit. <laughs> really? Yeah, the, you know, the all white with the collar. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I have, you know, I didn't want my sideburns cut, the whole nine, the whole deal. So El Elvis was my guy as a, as a little guy, as a kid. Uh, but then, like I said, you know, all the other influences came in. But I always knew that that's what I wanted, wanted, wanted to do. Uh, would do concerts in the in my room, in the mirror, do my shows, and and here I am now, you know, still doing what I love to do, which is perform and you know record and create music. So. And with that being said, too, I mean, how do you want people to respond to your music? I mean, you're doing so much, you know, in the music, you know, all different styles. But how do you want somebody to respond to your music? Um, no, I've, I've I've had a good response. I mean, when 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 you when when you're doing it from your heart, you know, it's you can't really go wrong. People will connect with you either way, um, and that that translates into any any type of career or anything you do with your life. If you're doing it with your heart. You know, you walk in that walk every day, people are going to connect with it. They're going to connect with, with your vibe. Um, and that's about it, man. You know, I've, I've always gotten a good response. So, um, But at the same time, people do enjoy, on the technical side of music, like people enjoy the the different vibe, the mix, the cultural mix. Like I said, I mean, I, I am Mexican-American, but I do have a big R&B background. So uh, I can go into anywhere and, um, you know, put that into any music. And people like how it's translated, you know what I mean? Right. Whether it's country, whether it's the hound of music, whether it's R&B, whether it's whatever, you know what I mean? When I when I bring my own flavor to it, they're like, yeah, I like that. You know what I mean? They like the they like the mix. So, so you know, last question here. You know, at the end of the day, it's probably a big question though. But like, what do you want your legacy to be at the end of the day? After all is said and done, and after you've accomplished all you wanted to accomplish in your career, right? What do you want your legacy to be? I think um, I think what my career and journey has shown so far is the ability to to see a vision and to make it real, um, and that's just walking it, attracting it. Like I told you before, I believe in the law of attraction. Not only not uh, the law of attraction, and also God, God's um, His word is it, it goes hand in hand, and I apply both of them at the same time. And when you do that, man, I mean. You're unstoppable. There's nothing or nothing that you you cannot do. I tell my son that. I tell everybody that I meet. You know, when people are going through things, like at the end of the day, there's a big plan. There's a big picture. You know what I mean? And God has this. It's like a, it's like a, a connected dots. You know what I mean? When, you, when you, us as humans, we're going through these dots. You don't you don't never know what the next one is or why you're there. Why why why? It don't make sense. You know what I mean? Whether it's an up and you know up and down time in your life. But God's above looking at the whole picture. 
and he already knows the end picture. You know, we can't see it till we look back. Right, right, they right. Understand, like, oh, that's why this happened. That's why this. Oh, that's why I'm here in Texas. That's why I'm doing this interview today. You know what I mean? But when it's all said and done, you're like, okay, yeah. But to answer your question, through my music, through my journey, not only to show my, you know, my son or, or, or future kids, like, I just want to be able to, to show people that if you really, really uh, apply your your beliefs and your face and your faith. And uh, daily in your walk, and you really walk in it. I mean, just like, just like Obama. You know, you can become president. You can become anything in this world. You know what I mean? If you really, really work hard at it. It's not about talent. I mean, talent is one thing, but if you're really obsessed with with whatever it is you want to do, you know what I mean? You can do anything. So, and there's so much more I'm gonna do, and I already know I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? It's just enjoying the journey there. That's a success. So. That's huge, that's huge. Ricky, man, thanks for talking to me. I really appreciate it. Where can the folks find you at? Um, well, you can find me in San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> but no, I'm on, I'm on Facebook um, under Ricky Valens. Ricky, R-I-C-K-Y-V-A-L-E-N-Z, Valens with a Z. Um, Facebook, Instagram, number one, Ricky Valens. Twitter, it's called Valens page, Valens underscore page. Uh, what else? Snapchat, Ricky Valens. Um, all social media, you can find me on iTunes, Spotify, look up Ricky Valance, all my music is on there, both of my albums, I'll have some new stuff on there, um, so check it out man, I'm, I'm all over social media, online, and everywhere, so look me up. Hey, that's what's up, this is Alex Malone with Ricky Valance, yes, sir. we're out. <laughs> <laughs>